touch it. Tomorrow's gonna be a huge day for sure. We're gonna have a, one of the biggest days of this season for sure. I just came for that. I when I saw the charts, I fuck. I just like realized it's gonna be huge. Can I can have the chance to ride the biggest wave, biggest wave of our lives? No, we can have this chance, and I think our team is ready for that. That's why we are here. Skimboarding one of those real big Nazare days. So I think the time has come, and tomorrow we'll see if it's possible or not. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it will be possible. Just hopefully I had to have a good performance and enjoy the best way I can. Tomorrow could be unbelievable. It's plenty of swell, good wind, and uh, I guess the direction's kind of weird. A lot of guys are worried about that, but um, I'm just stoked to be back. Um, just resetting all my equipment. I just went out there for a couple waves, and now I'm going to get everything ready for tomorrow morning. Um, Got to rinse these things out every time you use it, just to make sure it doesn't corrode. When we're in the water, I kind of just want to sit there and wait and, you know, try to find one of the biggest waves of the day again. So I'm not going to try to sit on the inside and get a bunch. I just want to sit there and wait for the one. The whole crew is here, the whole circus. I heard everyone is around. I just arrived from the Spain because I live up north. I didn't even put my skin in the water. I'm gonna check in the morning. I'm a little bit scared for the foggy. You no, know, when there's too much cloud, there's no wind in the morning. Well, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, wake up my body. And I think we're gonna see a couple of bombs in the afternoon too. So I don't like like hush in the morning and then when it's the best and biggest, you're tired. And I'm old, dude. I'm 43. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in a hush. I'm not in this big deal breaking records or whatever I just want to surf get a couple nice waves make sure I can help everyone in safety because I, I have a lot of experience here on the inside I've been here for since, since the beginning so I think uh, I was helpful in the water <laughs> The forecast looks amazing, lots of energy. The numbers are not necessarily the biggest numbers I've ever seen, but the energy is quite high, period, direction. I think just the alignment of um, all the things are, are really nice for a perfect day. And I think Nazare really needs that for the tallest waves. It needs wind, swell direction, period. Uh, tides, everything to get together and be perfect for, for us to ride some 80 foot waves tomorrow. So we'll see. It doesn't matter what we see on the chart sometimes, you know, it's what happens um, when it hits shore and Nazareth does its thing. There is a certain uh, unpredictability with forecast charts and what it actually does once it arrives on the canyon. And that's what to me is so interesting because you see the shards and, and they look historic and you can compare to this day, that record day, that other record day, but um, it, it's always a bit different and it always has potential to be better. Yeah, there's so many factors that would contribute to Nazare being the biggest, best day ever. And um, I think that when you see forecasts, you're talking about a storm. You're not talking about what that storm will create exactly in certain areas of the world, let's say the canyon at, at, at this um, this case. So there is, you know, variables that we haven't really um, dialed in and, and it, there's no absolute, you know, it is the ocean at the end of the day, it's a storm, it's still moving, it's still changing, it's still blowing. So whatever whatever is happening still has some change to endure until it actually hits us. This swell, we see the whole energy and the whole force throughout the whole day. So I think it has chances to be just like all of those days that are, you know, history making. I hope I serve the biggest wave ever served <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> It'll be a good, good day for, for it to happen. But uh, there's always a chance, you know, because it's one of the biggest charts. The winds are good, we have great surfers, the sport just keeps evolving and it's about surfing the right wave and making the right line and putting yourself in a place where when you look up there's, you know, 80, 90 feet above you. 
and not behind, not in front, not. So there's a little bit that comes with how you surf the wave as well and what wave you get and how you're driven into it. So few things to... Are you, are you gonna sleep well tonight? Are you kind of used to doing that or how you, how's you? you I are? sleep very well. I, I stress maybe five days prior four days prior and as it gets closer and closer I get more and more relaxed because the hard part is done all the logistics the team building the equipment once that is behind me I just really get to enjoy the process of the nerves the anticipation and the excitement for the waves yeah I saw this well coming for a long long time ago um, the angle is it's pretty much a good angle to Nazare it's a little bit north for me People say it's northwest, for me it's a little bit to north. But at that size, I think it doesn't matter anymore. It's gonna be breaking way outside. So yeah, it's gonna be a huge day for sure. <laughs> I'm really excited for tomorrow. It will be huge. But I'm with a good team, with Ian Cosenza and Eric Ribeiro. So I think I'm pretty safe with them. And my equipment are perfect. I just got, came out of the water to test my board, my surfboard, and it looks really good. So yeah, I'm feeling good for tomorrow. Let's see, because it, it will be huge. I don't want to do nothing that I don't feel comfortable, but I really want to get a one, almost one good wave. Let's see. Looking back. Amazing. Perfect offshore. Swell is picking up. Hopefully some crazy good waves. It's big, it's clean, but the direction isn't perfect. Uh, it looks like it's coming from what I understand in this place, coming in a lot from the north which means it's not really hitting the canyon and you don't get those huge things that stand up. But in saying that, there's still like 50, 60 foot waves out there. But um, I don't think I've seen a good set yet. It's only really early. Uh, it's gonna change a lot throughout the day. Tides affect this place a lot. The swell could jump, could drop off, who knows, but um, it's huge and it's clean. So that's two pretty good elements that come together.
Maya, there's three waves going towards you. So I think you are passing the first one now. There's two big ones on the back, and I I go I would go for the second one. Second one. Mate, I just skipped out on like a nice wave, jumped straight off the ski, straight onto one, and I just skipped out going dead straight. Like, I don't know what happened. And then got so pounded. Like, the pounding took, it felt like it was like 20 second hold down. Like, literally 20 seconds, maybe more, I don't know. And then came up, like, stoked to come up. Like, I didn't think I was going to come up. And then came up, and there was the biggest white water I've ever seen in my life. And I think I started laughing because I thought, like, I thought I was dead and it was like one of those moments where it was like, here we go. But um, my neck is so cooked. But um, mate, in all honesty, I'm, like, I got so pounded. Surviving that was like better than a wave I've ridden this whole trip. Like just getting that pounded. I never in a million years thought I would end up in the worst case scenario. Well, worst case scenario is the rocks, but to end up falling, like skipping where I did out the back, getting so ragdolled through the inside and then being in just the ultimate like death zone and to come up and see what I saw after surviving the wipeout like I'm just I'm so stoked <laughs> but bummed I fell because I kind of cooked it but I just can't believe what I went through it was crazy like five waves on the head and then washed all the way into the beach never thought that would ever happen to me out here and it did so I'm, I'm pretty stoked in all honesty.
was it? It was pretty dramatic out there. Yeah. <laughs> couple wipeouts, couple mistakes, and becoming a better town surfer. Today was the biggest day I ever surfed. The heaviest wipeout of my life for sure. This thing came off. So I I started towing rides in early morning, but then my turn came again. And the first ride that Alemão told me, I I fall on the on the bump. There was a wake on the wave, jet ski wake. That was me. That was huge wave. So Alemão got really pissed with me because I fall. But he said one more, sh one more, ch uh, one more chance. He gave one more chance for me. And the, this mean left came for me. So I, I, re I went really deep, and almost couldn't make around the wave. The first, the first white water eaten me. I could come back. I appeared again, and then the second time the white water eat me again. My knee blow the meniscus and I put the, the trigger the airlift, the airlift works so I, once I was coming back the next wave came I got really pounded, it went very deep and I heard the, the balloon losing the air so I put the trigger again start to come back to the surfaces and another wave came and hit right in my head and this thing came off, it went really deep. I wasn't feeling like I was coming back to the surface piece. After a while I came back and Alemão was right there for me, I couldn't hold. So I got one more wave pounded. I lost a lot of oxygen, a lot of energy and luckily he came on the next one and drove me all the way through the sand.
five days ago or six days ago, um, I was cleared to surf one foot waves, or like long, on my longboard, that's what the doctor said. And then um, I saw this forecast and had a little heart attack. And then just said, okay, let's try it. It was amazing. Definitely learned a lot today. My first experience in XXL Nazareth. I had some good days during this season, but this was definitely the biggest. And I managed to get a couple on my skim. I also fell on a couple, so I think it was a day that I gained a lot of experience. Pushed the bar a little bit higher. I don't know if it was the biggest mile of my life, the ones that I got, but I'm just so happy to be here and to be part of this, to experience all of that. It's just too good. Definitely more chapters coming on this story. I've never seen Nazare like this ever. It's the biggest I saw is probably half this. And just like how far out it was breaking. Like you see it from here. You're sitting in the car, you're watching it from the harbour, you know? It was insane. It was just like stupid. Oh, it's amazing, man. It's just, what a great day. Uh, it's not that big what I expected, but it's uh, been an awesome. The guys charging, something good. No hurts, no bad things. I think no damage. That's the most important. We all saved and happy. Insane, what a fucking great day. This is, this is what surfing is all about. This is what surfing is all about. I mean, sharing big waves with great people, everyone getting great waves, everyone willing to share. I mean, amazing to you know, work with El Mo and, and Lucas, you know, just two great people. Absolutely love Serging, my partner, but he's currently injured. So, just a great day.
surfing here in Nazaré, it's a team sport. You know, you have to have a great spotter, you have to have a great driver, you have to have great safety. And, uh, you know, if we win, these guys win as well. And, you know, like sometimes these guys don't get the credit they deserve, you know, but uh, they get from us. <laughs> But uh, sometimes, you know, like people don't realize what it what it takes to ride a huge wave. And Andre, I'm really impressed with this guy. His effort, willing. He wants he wants more than me for me to catch the bomb. You know, it, <laughs> I can hear. Sometimes I don't want to get like I want like this afternoon. Like my like I can't lift my arm more than this. But I knew Andre was gonna be pissed off if I don't get back in the water because it was firing. He said it's the best time of the day. And I was like, fuck, if it's the best time of the day, man, I'll tow with one arm. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I say... <laughs> <laughs> Normally I say, hey, a big set coming is four waves. For me, the second wave is the best one. If the... the second wave, the second wave. He's going for the first change. wave and he's like, the second wave, the second wave. Was everybody like prepare and um, a lot of people, a lot of skis. It's been every year that I came or every swell. It's more skis, you know. So it got a little complicated because there's a lot of uh, wakes from the ski to surf, especially. But you know, Nazare, massive monster, uh, and at the same time beautiful wave. 